Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance, trying to focus for you, um, for the sign of Pisces for August of 2018. I really wish I could have played the music that I was playing when I shuffled these and dealt out these cards, because um, it kind of really makes me want to cry for you guys. Let me, in a very good way, um, let me just start off by saying um, that this month I am offering the free readings as well, um, just like I've done for the past few months. Um, so if you're interested in winning a free reading from me, just make sure you subscribe to this channel and comment on this video. Okay, I'll be choosing the winners on August 26th. You'll see a video posted in this on this page, so make sure you subscribe. Um, and you have to subscribe in order to enter to win. All right, so subscribe and comment because I go I scroll through the comments and, and pick one from there. So make sure that you comment on the video if you want a chance to win. When I was shuffling the cards, I was getting like a trickling down type of energy. Um, and I also was feeling like it's not what you think. Um, so there could be, you know, this energy, the cards that flew out of the pile to start with was the Six of Swords. Okay, so to me, this is about leaving something behind. It's like she's sitting there, she's dragging her swords. It's like, you don't want to go, but you know you have to. Right, and that's the kind of energy I was getting, and it's like you have to because with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you you have to do it for you. What you're holding on to is no longer good for you, okay? And it's releasing what no longer serves you. And the card that came out with this is the Lovers. So for some of you, again, it's a general reading, so however it resonates, let it resonate. Um, however it doesn't, let it go. But for some of you. You know, check out your moon and rising signs as well. You can comment on those videos as well to increase your chances of winning the free reading. But for some of you, I feel like it's a relationship that you're going to have to leave behind. And you know it. And it, it's like a blessing in disguise. But it's like, it's just this energy right here. It's like dragging your feet, knowing that you have to do something that you don't really want to do. Okay, but you know that it's it's better for you in the long run if you do this. And that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling for you guys um, throughout the month of August is that, you know, and for some of you, it's going to be a relationship. Some of you, it could be work, whatever that is for you. But it's like, you know, you have to let something go in order to better yourself, like the Seven of Pentacles, like to grow yourself, to nurture yourself. You've got to let something go that's no longer serving you. And the lovers came out for some of you. So it definitely could be a relationship for some of you guys, okay? Um, the outcome of this reading is beautiful, okay? It's just the journey that it's going to take to get you guys there. And you've got the Six of Cups here. And I love this card in this deck because you can see... She's holding, trying to get it to focus a little bit better. If we could bring it closer, bring it out. There we go. You can see that this little girl is offering her light. She's showing and giving her her light. So she's sharing this with her. And you have this inside of you to share with others as well. Um, but next to this card, you've got the Five of Wands. And this is about bickering. This is about doubting. This is about being held back, you know? And that's that energy that I'm talking about is about leaving something behind that's no longer serving you. That light is being offered to you in the month of August, okay? We had the Lion's Gate on 8-8. We have the New Moon and the Solar Eclipse on 8-11. There's a lot of energy right now um, going on and you know, the Lion's Gate, it opens up the angelic realms. It opens up the consciousness for you to, to gain that consciousness. It's just a very crucial time right now that you can expand your consciousness without doing that much work. Next to that Five of Wands is the Strength card. And then next to the Strength card, you have the Page of Cups. And, you know, it's having that strength to do what you know you need to do even though it's uncomfortable, even though it might be something you don't want to do, even though, you know, um, and once you have that strength to get through, you got the page of cups, you've got an offer. There's an offer coming, but you need to be strong enough to take it. All right. This offer here of the energy that's happening, like literally I wanted to cry 
because the song that was playing, it's just like such a relaxing song. Um, and it's kind of like, you have no choice but to put your shoulders down and to like, to give up, right? But like, I won't say give up, I'm sorry, that's the wrong word, to surrender. Because there's a difference between giving up and surrendering. When you give up, that means that you're not putting any more effort into anything. When you surrender, it means that you are trusting a higher power to help you through. Okay, there's a difference there. And once you have that strength to do what needs to be done, to take the offer that's being given, because in the same row, you got the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. Now, this, you know, usually this is like the beginning of August. So this right now, since we're almost in the middle of August, might have already happened. You might have already left something behind or, you know, with all that energy, all that moon energy, the lion's gate, all that stuff. It might have been very clear in your face. I know that I went through a lot of clarity during this time with this energy. So it might have been put in your face for you to know what you needed to give up. All right. It was an, it was it was the light being given to you. It was the clarity that you guys needed in order to, to move forward. And as I say that, I look at the Knight of Wands in the next row. So that Knight of Wands is about moving forward. It's about going after what you want. It's action, all right? It's action. And the next court card here is the Six of Wands. So when you decide to take that action, which I'm hoping is starting right now, after this reading, after you hear this reading, you start to take action, okay? Action for your life. You pick and choose. You got the Seven of Cups here. You pick and choose what you want and what you don't want in your life, all right? And once you can do that, once you start to take those steps to gain your power back, to choose how you want your life to be, that's when the Ace of Wands comes in. That's where your new beginning, look how pretty this card is. That's where your new beginning is. Look how beautiful it is. And red, red, safety. The red chakra is the... Is the um. Oh my goodness, is the, um, I cannot think today. Root, thank you very much. The root chakra. So that's all about safety and stability. All right, so that's what this new beginning means for you. All right, it's letting, it's, it's just, uh, let me keep going. The card that I got to, that really kind of made me a little bit emotional when I got here was the Three of Swords. And this looks painful. Painful. So this reading here, like I and I and I've been saying it from the beginning, whatever you need to leave behind, it's not something you want to do. It's not something you know you need to, but it's not something you want. And towards the end of the month, I feel like you're going to feel that. Towards the middle of the month, it might be exciting to be like, oh, I'm finally going to leave this behind. It really, I, I know it's going to be good for me. And you're kind of empowered is how I feel with the Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Towards the end of the month, I do feel like you might be starting to feel it a little bit. Okay. The Three of Swords. That, you know, painful. Sadness. Okay. But right next to it, I feel like you're not giving up. You're not giving up because you know the end result. You know what you want and what you don't. And even though it hurts, you're still working at it. You're still working at what you want. You're still on the journey to get what you want. The next card here is the Nine of Swords. Now usually in a deck, this is like kind of sleepless nights and stuff. But in this deck, I feel as though this is peacefulness for you. It's like you finally get to rest and you finally get to breathe. And there's a sword there just in case you need it. But you notice that she's not holding it. So she doesn't feel like she has to sit there with it in her hand. You know, and so that's what I feel like you're going to finally at the end of the month if you just keep going and stick to your decisions. Whether this is work or love or family, whatever this is for you, whatever is no longer serving you, whatever is bringing you down, what is, whatever is making you second guess yourself, whatever is keeping you in a place of, of um, indecision, of um, chaos, I don't really feel like it's chaos. I feel like it's more misery for you guys, more of just not knowing, more of feeling not good enough, feeling 
like you don't matter. And that's the kind of energy I'm feeling here. So whatever's making you feel that way, whatever's around you that's making you feel that way, I finally feel at the end of August that you get a break and you get to actually sleep peacefully, okay? Then right next to that, you've got the Three of Wands. And you can see she's sitting here. The Three Wands are in the past. They're behind her. All she's looking at is the future. She's looking in this in this bright, shining bowl of white light, ball of white light, okay, which is the divine energy. She's looking at it, trusting in it, surrendering it, surrendering to it. And she's got a long road in front of her, but the wands are behind her, and she's only looking ahead. And that's the that's what I see for you guys at the end of August. All right. Now over here. You got the Four of Cups. And for me in this card, it's about, it's kind of, it kind of resembles this um, Nine of Swords where it's like you can breathe again for me. In this deck, I know guys, I know the Nine of Swords, does that mean that? It's intuitively what I'm getting from these cards is that I'm seeing her on this rock and I see her thinking and I see pondering about what's next right? What's next? You've made it this far. Now where do I go? Now what do I do? And not in a bad way. It's like the world is mine. What do I want from it? I am also being drawn to the moon in the back here. Notice that it's not full. Notice that it's a little bit um, maybe after the new moon, I would say a little bit. And the new moon, we set intentions and look at where she is now. Right? So it doesn't take that long to get there. With that card, you got the Nine of Pentacles. And in this deck, if you can see her face, okay, she's determined. She's determined. She's got her protection, her tiger there. She's determined to get what she wants. She knows what she wants. It's the Nine of Pentacles. She knows what she wants, and she's going to get it. And then she goes from the Nine of Pentacles right to the Ten. So she gets it. And I know I'm saying she, but it's he, she, it's a she on the card, but it's he or she. You guys get it. You get it. Once you can move past this, once you can breathe, once you can see the future and not look back, right? Once you can see that, you get everything that you want. But you've got to take those steps. All right, you've got the card over here, Shower of Abundance. And it says, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So if these are the angels showing you which way to go. So if this resonates with money for you, then these are the angels showing you which path to leave it behind. Leave what's keeping you down. When you know you can make more, don't doubt yourself. Go after it. Go after it. Daydream about it. Daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. So when you're just sitting there and you're kind of zoning out, what, what thoughts do you get? Write them down. What thoughts, what ideas, what visions, write them down because most likely that's when your mind is quiet. That's why we meditate. Um, you quiet your brain. And when you quiet your mind, that's when the divine, and especially like I said, during this time right now where it's open for everybody, this is the time that they want to send those messages to you. So this is the time that you want to um, be meditating. And then also you have the honesty is essential. Okay, and it says to be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. All right, so whatever you need to leave behind, know that it comes from love for yourself. Okay, and have love for the other person as well or the other situation, whatever it is. Um, getting don't burn any bridges, right? Just do what you need to do for you, but do it with love. Okay, and honesty. People will understand if it comes from your heart. And then you also have physical touch is important. And it says, for some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. 
Okay, so just keep that in mind. It might have to do with leaving somebody behind. It might have to do for you. Give yourself a pat on the back, right? Touch yourself kindly. <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. Um, you know, give a hug to yourself. Give yourself the love. Give the people around you love as well, but make sure that you're giving it to yourself as well. Okay, so again, a little bit emotional just because this needs to happen. And I know it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so worth it. Guys, you have the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Your abundance is coming. You just got to get through some crap before you get it. All right? You can do it. You have the strength. You have the strength to do it. All right. I hope that resonates with you guys. If you want a chance to win the free reading, please leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay? Um... And thank you for watching. Much love to all of you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.